a very special beginning of Story, Signs, and Songs. Um, we got permission from the learning station to use one of our favorite songs at the beginning of our story time. So, of course, before we dance, we must stretch. Today, I have some lovely assistants. I have Miss Katie. <laughs> Hi, Miss Katie. I have Miss Lisa and Miss Pam. <laughs> Way in the back. All right, so before we start, we must stretch. So let's take your fingers and go way up high. Wiggle those fingers. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And all the way down. Touch no. your toes. No. Do it. <laughs> and then up. To uh -oh. the front. To the back. To the side. No. Other side. <laughs> Other side. And give a shake. All right, everybody's up on their feet, and here we go. Tony Chestnut, from the award-winning CD, Tony Chestnut and Funtime Action Songs, by The Learning Station. Tony Chestnut knows I love you, Tony. Hey, 
everybody. That was fun, hey? Doing a little bit of dancing and singing. And uh, it looks like all the other ladies that work here had a good time too, so that's exciting. Okay, so now, um, I didn't have my glasses out there, so I have them now, and uh, let's put them on and see who's here with us today. All right, here we go. Oh, they're, they're staticky today. With a little, little, little tap. Oh, oh, that's weird. I'm getting a news feed from Australia. That's, that's strange. Oh, but I see Gemma. Hi, Gemma in Australia. Let's, uh, okay, let's wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Now I can see a little bit closer to home. Excellent. Hi, everybody. I see, I see Madeline. Hello, Madeline. I see Amalia and Eddie. Hello. I see Jason Lena. I see Sean. Hi, Sean. Um, Violet. Violet, I miss seeing you. Grayson, miss seeing you too. Um, who else do we have? I Oh, I see Ryder and Riley. And I see Chevelle. Hello, Chevelle. Hi. Oh, I see Cash and Bo. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I see uh, Jacob. Hello. I see Thomas and William. Hello there. I also see Logan. Oh, I see Oliver. Hello, Oliver. Hello. Um, I also see Paisley. Hi. And I see, who else? Let me just wait. Oh, I see Connor and Hunter. Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy you were able to make it. And everybody else that perhaps my glasses didn't see today, hello to you too. All right. Ooh, okay. Ooh, takes a minute for my eyes to adjust there. All right. So, as per usual, let's start with a little shouting and a little helloing. We're going to do some bread and butter. Everybody ready? Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hi! Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Really loud, let me hear you. Hello! I think I heard some of you. Good job, everybody. All right, now everybody's on your bums. Snuggle in. Ready? We are going to start, open, shut them. So we start them with open. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little cup. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Hold them on your lap. Excellent. Good job, everybody. All right. For our story today, I'm going to introduce you <clears throat> to a little boy named Jack. Some of you may know him, right? There he is. He says, hello, everybody. Guess what? He's cousins to Little Red Riding Hood and Goldilocks. They all live in that same crazy forest. I don't think I ever want to visit that forest because, you know, like the bears, the wolf, and let's find out who Jack meets today. All right. So Jack lived in a cottage with his mother and they were happy. They had a couple of animals and they had um, their favorite animal, A cow. Her name was Bessie. Isn't she cute? Moo, Bessie. Uh, so one day, Jack's mom says, Jack, I think we might have to take Bessie and sell her. <gasps> Jack was so sad. But why, mother? Well, we just can't afford all the hay and all that other cow food to keep her. So Jack reluctantly agreed and he decided, all right, 
he would take Bessie to the market. So off they went down the path. Do, 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 do. Um, they were almost to town when they met a stranger. And the stranger stopped them. And he said, hello, little boy. And Jack said, hello. That's a nice cow you got there. Well, yes, that's my Bessie. He goes, I could take care of her for you. And Jack said, well, no, I, I have to take her to the market and sell her. And the stranger said, oh, well, I'll buy her. Okay. And the stranger held out his hand and he said, I'll give you these magic beans. Jack looked at the beans and they were all sparkly and shiny. And he thought, it's a good idea. Okay. So he said, yes, I will take them. And he gave Bessie a big kiss. Mwah! And Bessie and the stranger went off. And Jack took his beans and ran back home. <laughs> run, run, run. And when he got home, he said, mother, mother, mother. And she said, yes, Jack, that was fast. And he said, yes. It was fast. I met a stranger on the road and he gave me beans, magic beans for Bessie. And mother said, what? Beans? And Jack said, yes, mom. And she said, oh, Jack, silly boy. And she took the beans and she tossed them out the window. And then she went up to her room and read her book. Jack was kind of sad. He was hoping that the magic beans would be cool and grant him wishes. So. He didn't fret on it too much. He went to bed and in the morning he heard an odd noise, like a creak and a crack and he rushed to his bedroom window and outside his bedroom was a giant, giant beanstalk. It reached all the way up into the sky through the clouds. He couldn't even see the top of it. So his mother was still sleeping. He snuck down the stairs and out into the yard. And he looked way up at the beanstalk and he thought, I'm gonna climb it. So he started and he went, oh, 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 and he finally made it to the cloud layer. And he thought, oh, I'm a little scared. Don't look down, don't look down. So he just carried on and pushed through the clouds. And when he got above the clouds, at the top of the beanstalk was a beautiful, castle and it was huge like way bigger than any castle he'd ever seen and he thought oh I wonder who lives there so he very quietly snuck up to the castle when he got close he could hear some rather large snoring and he thought somebody giant lives in there but he snuck in anyway so he opened the door Nothing, but he could heal, still hear the snoring. Then, out of nowhere, came a chicken. And the little boy, Jack, was like, whoa, what are you? And as the chicken was getting closer, it pooped out a golden egg. And Jack thought, that's pretty cool. I think I should take you with me. So he looked at the chicken, and the chicken looked at him, and they nodded in agreement, and they started back out through the castle and towards the beanstalk. Meanwhile, they didn't notice that the snoring had stopped. Do you know who was making the snoring? Let me tell you, it was the giant. Now, our giant looks like he's pretty friendly, but this giant actually not so friendly. He was pretty upset because he heard somebody sneaking out with his golden egg laying chicken. So he got up and he looked around, nothing already out of the castle. And he looked and he thought, fee, fi, fo, bum. I smell an intruder. So he stomped his way out of the castle. And at this point, Jack and the chicken were almost at the beanstalk and Jack looked back and saw the giant and he went, ha ah, ha run chicken, run chicken. So they quickly got to the beanstalk and whoo, down they went. The whole time they were going, the chicken was laying golden eggs. It was raining golden eggs in the village that Jack lived in. And they got all the way down to the bottom and the giant came and he looked down and he could see them. And he was like, fee, fi, fo, fum. 
I'm gonna get ya. And he started down, down, down the beanstalk. He's not very quick because he's a giant. Jack is, and Chicken were much faster. And so he was very slow and he was very tired because his nap got interrupted, right? Like horrible. And so he finally, with a big thud, boom, gets to the bottom of the bean pole and he's standing there and Jack is trembling and the chicken is trembling and there's golden eggs everywhere. And the giant says, why have you taken my chicken? And Jack says, well, the chicken looked lonely and I thought she could come and live with me. And the giant thought about it, thought about it. And he realized the chicken probably was pretty lonely. So he looked at Jack and said, fine, you can keep my golden lane chicken, but I'm gonna come and take an egg every now and again. And Jack said, sounds good to me. So the giant slowly started back up the beanstalk and made it back to his castle and went back to sleep. Jack, the chicken, and Jack's mother took one of those golden eggs and they found Bessie and they bought her back and then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Excellent. Good. Kind of a total retelling of the normal Jack and the Beanstalk, but that's how we do things around here. All right. So it is time for music. Does everybody remember the sign? Music. Right? All right. We're sticking with the drums again this week because I like them. We could do shakers too because mine shakes, but we're just going to do drums. Everybody ready? Got your drums? Here we go. This is the way we tap our drums, tap our drums, tap our drums. This is the way we tap our drums very, very slowly. This is the way we tap our drums, tap our drums, tap our drums. This is the way we tap our drums very, very quickly. This is the way we tap our drums, tap our drums, tap our drums. This is the way we tap our drums very, very quietly. Very quietly. All right, here comes everybody's favorite part. This is the way we tap our drums, tap our drums, tap our drums. This is the way we tap our drums very, very loud. And done. Excellent. All right, put your drums away. All right, and I think maybe it should be time for parents. Yeah, should we call our parents or a grown up or whoever's there? Big enough that you can sit in their lap. All right, so we'll just call them. Uh, parents? Hey, parents! Hey, grown ups! All right, are they there? Awesome. All right, so Ben, here's my Ben. Ben, Ben, Ben says hi. All right, so as you're sitting on your parents or your grown-up's knee, we are going to grab a hold of our oars. Everybody ready? And we are going to row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, should we do it again? Ben, you're falling off. Here we go. Oh, Ben should row. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream excellent good job everybody all right and then our favorite our all-time favorite we're gonna have a little rickety rickety rocking horse time so the sign for horse is like this right horse horse and remember hang on we don't want any injuries here we go are you ready Ben says he's ready. Is everybody else ready? Excellent. Here we go. Rickety, rickety rocking horse. Over the fields we go. Rickety, rickety rocking horse. Giddy up. Giddy up. <gasps> go! Hang on to your kids! Yeah! Was that good? Yes? And again? Ben says yes! One more time with the rickety, rickety rocking horse. Here we go. I feel like I really gotta hang on to him. He's a little jumpy today. Everybody ready? Rickety, rickety rocking horse. Over the fields we go. Rickety, rickety rocking horse. Giddy up, giddy up, go! Excellent, everybody stay on. Ben stayed on. 
That is awesome. All right, so that is all the time we have for today. It's a little bit longer today because we had our singing and dan well, dancing at the beginning. Um, but I thank you all for joining us and I look forward to seeing you next week. Same time, same place, your living room or your kitchen table. Bye.